Hi, this is Deb from businessbuildingshortcuts.com and in this video we're going to look at purchasing a domain name from GoDaddy. So you, um, if you don't yet have your um, account at GoDaddy, you would go to godaddy.com and click on create account and it's a very simple process just to fill out the form and you will have your account created. Now after you get that information you'll be sent a login uh, customer name or username and your password and so what you want to do is just go ahead and enter those into these boxes and click go and I'm going to stop recording while I do that and I'll be right back with you okay after you've entered your information and clicked go you'll be taken to a page that looks like this and it's going to give you your customer number which I've blanked out as well as it will say up here again welcome it says to me welcome Deborah because that's who I am um, now what you want to do is right here start domain search so let's go ahead and enter a domain name here that we would like to search on if we were working let's say in the diet macro niche we might try searching for a name such as diet tips and we would click go and then it will come back and tell us about that particular name. So I'm going to stop this while I click go and I'll be right back with you. Okay, sometimes it can take GoDaddy a little bit of time uh, to do the search on the domain name. But you can see here that um, dietips.com is already taken. You can see that up here. And if you want to know more information about who's got it, you can click that. Now on this page, um, GoDaddy is also going to give us some information about um, other extensions that we might use, but you really want a .com name whenever possible. It's going to show you some premium domain names that you might purchase. Some people make a lot of money buying good domain names and then offering them for sale, and it will also give you some other related uh, domains that you might purchase that are not yet taken. But let's go back and do our own search a little bit longer. So we'll scroll back up to the top, go back into the domain search box, and if our diet site were about all the different kinds of hassles that you can have with diets that you want to avoid, we might try searching for diethassles.com. So again, we'll click go hope that GoDaddy's a little faster this time. Oh, excellent. Hey, Diet Hassles is available. And it's available in .com, so that's excellent. What we would want to do is um, it's going to give you the option again to purchase other extensions. You don't need to do that right now. Again, you don't need your premium domain names or your additional domains and even more additional domains because you've got the site you wanted. Um, let's say you were searching for something else, you could always use these drop-down boxes to look at all the different kinds of endings, um, extensions that there are. But like I said, we want .com. So, you've got a domain name that's available, so let's proceed to checkout. Click the Proceed to Checkout link, and it's going to take you, all right, GoDaddy, being a good marketer, wants to sell you some more stuff, upsells. Uh, you don't need to worry about that now unless you really want to um, <clears throat> because all we want to do is register this one domain name. Right here in the middle of the page in tiny little print it says no thanks. I don't want to add any more stuff. I just want to continue to check out. And it will take us to this page where it's going to let us choose. It will default to five year registration length for this example, I'm going to just change it to one year. Here's my contact information. <clears throat> I don't want to certify the domain, and I don't want to do my hosting here at GoDaddy, so I don't need to add hosting, and I don't need to add email. Uh, the hosting will, will be doing that at HostGator, and email will be there as well. Um, down here it gives you many more options of ways that you can register your domain name. You can hover over them to see more information about them. But for right now, again, we're not going to do a deluxe or a protected. We're just doing a standard domain registration. We don't need SmartSpace right now, uh, probably ever, because we're hosting elsewhere. 
Down here it's going to let you customize your order, which means add some of this other stuff to it, or no thanks, I'm ready to proceed to check out. So that's what I want to choose, no thanks, I'm ready to check out, and then I'm going to click continue. When you click continue you'll be taken to your secure checkout and you can see where you are in the process up here. We're still in the cart. Um, we have logged in. Uh, we haven't done our payment and our confirmation. Again you see if it's you and um, it's going to list the domain that you've got here dietassels.com. For one year, public domain, the price you're going to be paying and I've set up my account and you probably want to do this as well one of the options when you set up your GoDaddy account is whether you want recurring billing meaning that it automatically renews your domain names unless you choose not to and uh, you really want that option selected when you um, set up your account and if you didn't you can always go into your account manager and make that change so let's go oh, it's going to give you more options to buy more domain names uh, but for right now we don't want to do that. If you happen to have a promo or source code to reduce the price, you can enter it there. Otherwise, scroll on down and we're going to enter what kind of payment we want to use. You can pay by credit card. You can have a credit card on account at GoDaddy that will always be charged automatically when you do this. You can pay by check. Um, you can do a PayPal or you can have a PayPal account at GoDaddy. Um, so what I'm going to do for this example is just go ahead and click credit card. If you do choose PayPal, it's going to take you over to your PayPal account and you'll have to log into that uh, to pay. You have to read and agree to the terms of um, registration agreement and the terms of service. You need to click both of those and then you would go to check out now. Okay, when you click Secure Checkout, you'll be taken to this page, and this page will look a little bit different depending on how you said you wanted to pay for your domain name. If you said PayPal, if you chose PayPal as your payment option, you would actually be taken, as I said, to the PayPal login page. I chose a credit card, so I'm here, and the next thing it's going to ask me is to enter my billing information. This is the information for your credit card billing, and it needs to match the billing arrangement you have set up on the credit card you're choosing. So you would enter, and you need to enter the things with the asterisk that say required, your first name, last name, the mailing address that's associated with your credit card billing, city, state, a zip code, your email, um, and you would probably want to use the email you use for GoDaddy, your work phone, extension, home phone, and then your credit card information. You can use the drop-down box to choose the credit card options, drop down box to set your expiration date, and then when you've got all that information entered, you would just go down here, it's going to tell you what you're actually going to be billed, and then you would click check out now. Because I don't want to actually buy this particular domain name, I'm not going to click check out now. But as you can see up here, next thing you're going to see is your confirmation page that your purchase actually did go through and you will be getting an email um, within the next few minutes from GoDaddy to the email that you entered here um, with confirmation information as well as billing information. So that is all there is to purchasing a domain name. If you found this video helpful, you might want to pop over to www.businessbuildingshortcuts.com You can see the URL at the bottom and um, check out our other videos as well as PDF um, how-to files that we have created. In case you don't want to watch the video each time, we try to have written documents uh, that show you step-by-step -step how to go through these processes as well. All right, have a great day.